I got my first degree in uh, fashion design, so you'll see a lot of the, the dresses that have always been present in my work. And uh, then many years later, I went back to school to get a BFA because I really decided that that's what I wanted to do. So I've been painting about 20 years, I guess. And uh, you know, it took me a couple years to find my vision. In fact, I kind of shut myself away after receiving my degree and I didn't go look at any exhibits. I didn't look at art magazines. I didn't want to be influenced by anyone else. So, and all of a sudden one day it just hit and I haven't stopped since. <laughs> my artwork's all very um, organically inspired. It, it's all intuitive. I really don't plan the subject matter. I just start by working on a table and slathering paint and uh, and then I start seeing imagery and then I go with it. I flip my paintings over all the time to see which angle is working better. And then I finally go with a direction and uh, I, my, my work is inspired by nature um, and a lot from the places I was fortunate enough to live as a child um, because of my dad's career. I got to live in places like Indonesia and Iran and all over Europe. And uh, so they come from the landscapes that I've seen and the colors are influenced by the, those places. Um, and a lot of it, you will see Asian type imagery because I was especially influenced by Southeast Asia. And uh, being native Finland too, you'll see parts that uh, remind me anyway of my native land. I work primarily on clayboard, uh, which uh, these are cradled wood panels. They have a layer of masonite, and then they're covered in a, a, a smooth layer of pure white kaolin clay. And that helps me uh, manipulate the paint, because the first layers tend to absorb, and I just let them do their thing. And, uh, and then I start working with that. And I use a lot of pencil to go into the details. Uh, and uh, so that's probably sometimes my favorite part, is just following the lines and creating like that. I think, you know, in our increasingly digital world, we sort of forget uh, what surrounds us naturally. And I also like to give people a sort of a place to breathe and relax and rest and, uh, you know, rest their eye away from all the chaos that we, especially right now, are experiencing.